the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra will be slightly smaller than its predecessor. And yet, as stated, he will finally repeat the Galaxy S10 installed by another model. Insider Ice Universe claims that the display of the new smartphone will occupy 88% of the front surface area. And this is the lowest ratio for Samsung flagships since the Galaxy S10 model. The frame around the screen of the new smartphone will not be symmetrical, but will be narrow. Its width at the top and bottom will be 3mm, and on the sides it will be 3.42mm. How much this will affect the appearance is still unclear. At least if you compare even the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and Galaxy S23 Ultra, there is no significant difference in the width of the frame. What you need to know is that Ice Universe was the first to accurately talk about the new trend of smartphones with waterfall screens, the notch in the iPhone X, the new design of the iPhone 14, and Samsung's 200 megapixel image sensor. Knowing Samsung's policy, many expect the Galaxy S24 Ultra to have a better camera system, a stronger soak, and possibly faster charging. The leaker also cited that the upcoming Samsung flagship will have something that users on social networks have been demanding for some time, a flat screen. Guessing from the 79mm width and some other information, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is likely to have a flat screen. For comparison, this year's Galaxy S23 Ultra has a screen that is 78.1mm wide, precisely because of the curved screen. Since it is unlikely that Samsung will expand the screen further, it is easy to assume that they have decided to listen to user requests and make it flat. By the way, Samsung introduced curved screens for the first time with the Galaxy Note Edge model, after which they began to put them on more or less every flagship model. In the meantime, they decided that the initial models of the Galaxy S series will not have a curved screen, but that it will be reserved only for the Ultra. Although the curved screen gives the phone a premium feel in the hand and looks attractive, the fact is that it can give users a headache at times. In the case of the Ultra, it is almost impossible to use the S Pen on the edges of the screen, and the problem is that this part of the phone cannot be adequately protected against breakage. The fact that the flagship Galaxy S24 Ultra will arrive with a flat display is, of course, not certain and this information is more at the level of speculation. It is also quite possible that the larger width of the phone will be due to Samsung simply increasing the display a little. We'll see how it all turns out in the end. We would love to hear your opinions and questions. Please share them in the comments section below. We hope you found the video instructive and thank you for watching it in its entirety. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care.